Happy holidays. Familiar happy, face here. Yes, happy she's, holidays. Doy. She's back, everybody. <laughs> um, good to be back. <laughs> right? Uh, so we said she's back. Go check out her episode. I'll put it in the description. Uh, we're not going to give her back background. Like I said on the others, this is about the client's story. We want you to be able to listen to this if it's you and say, holy shit, they're talking about me. Maybe I should take that step and go talk to one of these professionals or at least Stoy and he'll connect me, whatever it is. Uh, right. That's the whole purpose behind uh, the 12 days of giving. So without further ado, let's get into your client profile. Tell us, tell us about your, your story and your situation. Yes, this is great. So, so glad to be on here and, and just helping people to just kind of see like where they fit, that they're not alone. I like this. I love this concept, Sep Stoy. Um, so I'm going to chat about Kelly, her fictitious name. Names have been changed, <laughs> but I felt like I need to give her a name. So Kelly uh, is a recent graduate. She, and, and this was, I can go back about 10 years ago, but she was a recent graduate out of school, first job, um, taking care of her life, you know, adulting, learning how to live this life. And, you know, we all wanted to be grown so early in life. And then we come out and we're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what was yeah, I thinking? Want to be grown. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, take me back to mama's house. Right. Um, but she, you know, she um, came to me. I actually had met her at my church at the time. And once I said, oh, uh, that I'm a, what I do, what, you know, that I'm a financial advisor, financial planner, she was just like, oh my gosh, you know, that's what I need. So it wasn't one of those things where I just came up to her or she found me on a website or anything. It just happened organically while we were out and about, you know, and coming out of church, like, oh, you want to go to lunch? Right. Um, so she uh, shared with me, she didn't have any retirement savings. Um, she wanted to get on track or at least figure out, like, is she on track? What does she need to do? And and what I loved about it was that she was in her early 20s, um, you know, having just graduated from college. So I think she was like 22, 23. And it just reminded me of myself. And so I just love that. I love that she was so proactive and trying to talk about finances at that point in her life. And so um, so she wanted to understand saving. She wanted to understand investing, um, understand where she was at, like budgeting. I mean, over the years, we've done a lot. Actually, she's, I still work with her, um, but she was able to start at zero. So, I mean, literally start at zero. And I know a lot of, there's, there's a lot of advisors out there that may not want to work with a client like that. Like, oh, you're at zero. Oh my gosh. Why don't you call me back in like 10 years and then we can chat. But, um, but we, we started, you know, we started, I started with her. Um, I knew that she was, uh, I just felt like she was going to be diligent about everything. I explained to her about, you know, this is what a Roth is and based on your situation right now and the income that you're bringing in, you would qualify for a Roth IRA, uh, would you be open to um, putting money into that? And then I was able to guide her into this is about how much you want to do. And I believe at that time, because it was so you know long ago, it was like the max was like five thousand at that time, you know. And they change right. uh, consists continuously. So check you know check the numbers <laughs> whenever right. you're watching this, right? For whatever year, but but um, but we started off, and then over time. And I'm, I'm trying to recall with her, I believe we started at a at a decent number, but it wasn't quite the max that she could do every month to max out. Yeah. So over the years, I would encourage her, you know, and share with her, okay, this is what the max is. And how about increasing that? And then how about, you know, just trying to get to that max. And so there became a point where we did and she just, uh, you know, and then she started to lead that like, oh, okay, has the, have has the max changed for, you know, the Roth IRA contributions? I want to make sure I max out. And initially it was a little, you know, made her a little nervous. Like, yeah. should I do that? You know, and, and this is the way we feel and, and it's normal. Like, should I max out? And um, there were times when we had to talk about, you know, her budget. And, and now I mainly focus on cash flow planning and that's the term terminology I use. But at that time, I really used the traditional budgeting 
te um, terminology. And so we went through that, looked at her budget and she was renting an apartment at the time. She had a car loan. And I remember her little red hatchback card. Uh, one of the things I really enjoyed about her and, you know, this, the, it's going to be different for everybody, but that she just wasn't, she had a good job um, in the IT industry, IT field, but she didn't really go all out. Like she got that little red hatchback and that was good enough for her, you know? And so I love the modesty and, and that she wasn't trying to, um, I guess, live beyond her means. So uh, we put together a game plan for paying her car off and, we, over the years, uh, she's even been able to purchase a home. We've talked about, you know, making sure you have an emergency fund and, and not using the emergency fund for the down payment on the home and all the furnishing. So just really, it was almost like we were able to, I was able to walk her through all the things I wish I was told, right? When I had just graduated from college, right? And so this is the type of thing that I wanted someone to do with me, a financial advisor. And so it was just, she's always, she was the one that came up. Um, there's numerous examples, but she was the one that came up um, in my mind. And, and basically, you know, Kelly, like I said, bought a home. And now I believe, I mean, she's up to, you know, close to six figures, if not already there in just a Roth, you know? And I think that's a beautiful thing to watch your, your money grow and accumulate. And throughout the process, there was education about investments, you know, like, oh, okay, we're, we're going to invest. Like, what are we going to do? And what does that mean? And what's a mutual fund? What's an exchange traded fund? And just sitting down and educating. And then over time, she would share with me the things she was learning on her own. It's a, it's a constant thing. And so, um, you know, they say, or not even they, I, I used to, I listened to Mitch Anthony and he says that there's going to be about 62 life transitions that we'll have throughout our lives, potentially. Mm -hmm. And each one of those life transitions will cause you to potentially, most likely have a money decision. I mean, beside much of the time we're thinking death, life, marriage, divorce, you know, but there's more transitions that we have, um, you know, and so that's that's what I've experienced with her. I've experienced her, you know, being in an apartment, buying a home, paying off her car loan, getting building her emergency, getting a, you know, building up her uh, Roth IRA, building up her 401k at work. I mean, just all these various things. And and we you know, and we've been measuring and, and I'm just really pleased with her progress and how she's dealing with all the life transitions. And, and actually recently she just got married. So again, oh, yeah. marriage, a life transition. And so eventually maybe if she wants, they desire, she'll have kids. I mean, it's just a beautiful process to be able to walk somebody through all the different decisions that they're going to have to make as they move through um, these life transitions. So she's, she's been really fun to work with. Yeah. And, and there's a couple key points that it's a fun theme. All of these, we're getting to these two things. Like literally we've had, well, 11 different stories, right? Um, yes. And they all have two key factors that one, the person is wanting someone to help guide them educationally, mm -hmm. make the right decisions. Two, that it's because of some emotional thing that happened or is occurring in their life that has caused yes. them to take that next step. Absolutely. And what's really, really amazing that I'm getting out of this whole thing, and I probably should do like a whole summary of all of them, but um, is ultimately that we as planners are here to take on that emotional stuff to help guide them of where they are and where they want to go. And mm -hmm. it's really really cool to see the different levels right i wish i was her right out of college too i wish i knew and had someone <laughs> help me like right, right? help yes. me um yeah and the other point i wanted to make is time it takes time yeah this wealth journey does. isn't a overnight deal some people no, get lucky win a lot i don't have any of those clients so like it takes time you said you've been working mm -hmm. with her about a decade right in all of yeah, the things in her gone, now. Right? all the things you've gone with her and it's a relationship. You guys have a yes. bond. That is something yes. that we all are wanting as humans. We want that person who 
who we can trust that has our back. And I talk Absolutely. about this all the time. Clients want to know two things. Am I good? And, mm -hmm. and do you have my back? That's it. Yes. Those are the two yes. things in life. Doesn't matter what your returns are, how much money you got anywhere. It's literally just, am I good to live life how I want or am life where I want it? And then do you have my back in case things go crazy? That's it. Absolutely. We've been doing that for over a decade. So I applaud the hell out of you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's just, I just commend her, you know, like, as as a client, they're the they're the heroes, you know. They actually the fact that they take they link up with us as financial planners or advisors, and they decide to do the work, you know, because it's really up to them, and we're there to help. And right. so I just I love I love that aspect of the work we do. So it's it's a lot to take that step. It, it probably mm -hmm. took a lot out of her to, before before you had met her and said what you do. I'm sure yes. she did a ton of work to figure out, like, what do I need? Right. What do you think it was, at least in that, maybe that first meeting or whatever that you recognized, um, if you can remember, was that thing that really helped her hone into you, right? Obviously, you're at a church saying what you did. She'd already been thinking about it. It triggered her to take that next step. Do you know what maybe that caused that next step or what you had figured out in that first meeting or anything? You know, I think thinking back and just thinking back to, you know, the relationship we've built over the years is just really looking at how she looked at her parents, you know, her mother and just the things that she was just like, I want to, you know, they they did the best they can do. They're doing the best they can do. Um, and, and they're here for me. I just want to do things a little differently. I want to see, is there a different way? Is there a different method? And, um, and so... Uh, so, so I believe that is a big catalyst for why she felt like, oh, financial advisor. And I don't know how much she ha had thought about it, but you're right. Like she could have been thinking about it. We just, we never got to that, but, you know, but I do believe just, you know, when you, when just knowing her, just the family, the familial aspect and watching, you know, what her family had um, dealt with. And then also, what she wants out of her life. And, um, and I know she came from a very great family background, but it's just, you always want better and your parents want better. And so she is just like, oh, you want to, if you want something different and expect different results doing the same thing, then that's insanity. So let me figure out like, what do I, what yeah. do I want? And this is the, this is a difference, you know, having a financial advisor, this is different than what I've seen. Right. Yeah. And so, so I think that was a big part of her, um, you know, or at least some part of her journey and to that's, how she got to me. <laughs> yeah, that's phenomenal. I, I bet there's a lot of people out there at the same spot right now. Yes. What I'm doing is not working. What I've done in the past isn't working. I yes. need to be able to do something else. And um, luckily, we had a pandemic. And I say luckily because it's been phenomenal for our industry to be able to go more virtual for these yes. people, no matter where you live, you can find the person that you connect with. Not, not who's around the corner, not who's in your town, but yes. literally just out there being like, I, I can rock with them. I love that. I love, I just, I connect with them and can Absolutely. be anywhere. So I, I definitely have a positive outlook on the pandemic for that specific reason. Yes, uh, the, I agree. The other, um, topic I wanted to talk about and discuss with you in terms of like what you had just said with just the wherewithal at a young age or at really mm -hmm. any age to be like, it's not working. I should just, I need to try something. Yeah. I need to try something is the open ability and the approachability of who you are. And mm -hmm. I speak to you on that because you're one here, but really there's a lot of planners out there just like that who are just approachable. We're not here to judge you. We're not mm -hmm. here to put you down, to do any of that. Our mm -hmm. little, our duty is to create and be on this journey with you in wealth and just guide you in the right direction. And yes. so if you're there and you've already thought about it and you're like, this ain't working, go find that person and find yes. the person. I don't care who they were for or whatever. Can you connect to them? Because they're going to be there to guide you. And honestly, like you've attested to is, You've been in a relationship with her for over a decade. Yes. It's a lifelong thing. It doesn't have to be, but it journey changes. You said 65 yes. transitions. 
Right. Uh, right. That's a lot when you, and it's probably after graduation. So, you know, <laughs> 23 to average lifetime of 70 to 80, that's a lot of transitions. In a lot of transitions time. potentially. Yeah. I mean, you know, and we, we don't tend to think about that in our twenties and our thirties and, you know, but it's like, wow. As you look back, you're like, Whoa, you know, I did. I, there was a lot of things that happened over my life. And pretty much when you look at it, they all required me to make some type of money decision, yep. you know, moving across country, getting a new job. I mean, all these things, you know, <laughs> it's amazing. It, it really is. So during yeah. this holiday season, as people are hopefully listening and reflecting, uh, what do you want to leave them with? What is something that you want to leave them with to helpfully get them to take that next step, just like Kelly did? Yes. So I want you to, to believe that's, that's the thing I would say. I think, you know, the holiday, the theme of the holidays, it's all about believing, believing the best. And no matter where you're at, whether you start at zero or whether you got some type of major, you know, influx of funds, you still want to be a great steward of what you've been given, what you've been allowed to to put out there in the world. And so be encouraged and believe that you can do it, believe that it can happen and really find the right people that you trust and that you're willing to link up with to guide you as well. And it, and, and it can be a financial advisor, but also having a good community as well, because it really does take a village, you know, it takes a village to, um, to learn everything, to, um, you know, take, make that transformation to, to take that leap. And so you really got to believe that it can happen. And once you do that, things will start falling into place and it will happen. So that's what I would say. Believe that's all there is. Happy holidays and believe. Yes. There you yes. go. Well, we yes. appreciate you. We appreciate yes. you and you keep believing too. We all got to keep believing and we're in this thing. I will. Absolutely. Stoy. Thank you. <laughs> the preceding program was sponsored by Black Mammoth. Any awards, rankings, or recognition by unaffiliated third parties or publications are in no way indicative of the advisor's future performance or any individual client's investment success. No award, ranking, or recognition should be construed as a current or past endorsement of Black Mammoth. Information regarding specific awards, rankings, or recognitions is available on the Black Mammoth website, www.blackmammoth.com. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. Investment strategies such as asset allocation, diversification, or rebalancing do not assure or guarantee better performance and cannot eliminate the risk of investment losses. There are no guarantees that a portfolio employing these or any other strategy will outperform a portfolio that does not engage in such strategies. This broadcast should not be construed by any client or prospective client as a solicitation to affect or attempt to affect transactions and securities or the rendering of personalized investment advice due to various factors, including changing market conditions. The information discussed in this broadcast may no longer be reflective of current positions or recommendations. While information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, Black Mammoth do not guarantee its accuracy and it should not be regarded as a complete analysis of the subjects discussed. The tax and estate planning information discussed is general in nature and is provided for informational purposes only and should not be construed as legal or tax advice. Listeners should consult an attorney or tax professional regarding their specific legal or tax situation. Past performance is not indicative of future results.